Hi, it's Charlotte. So for today's video, I wanted to do what I got for my birthday. I think it was like the best birthday ever. I was pretty much surrounded by everyone I loved the entire day. And I was pretty much surprised by all my presents. I wasn't really expecting any of them. So yeah, I'm just gonna get on with the video. Um, I hope you like my setup. I wish it could always look like this. Everyone went a bit balloon happy because I love my balloons. But yeah, thank you to everyone who got me all these presents or wished me a happy birthday. I will definitely not forget this birthday. So first, about two days before my birthday, basically my flatmate and my boyfriend held me like a little mini birthday in which they got me loads of balloons and donuts. I love the donuts. And um, my flatmate basically gave me all of her presents. She's basically my bestie from another mother. Yeah, I feel like we usually like to go all out on each other's birthdays, so don't know quite not what I was expecting, but she did good. If I have any clips, I'm pretty sure she took a video of me coming downstairs in which I was a bit terrified because I had no idea what they'd done. <laughs> um, but I loved it, it was amazing. Basically, there's gonna be a big theme of peaches. Just letting you know. So at first she got me, it came like this, but I put it on my phone already, it was another peach phone case, which most people would think you don't need another peach phone case, but honestly, it's completely different. It's like a weird cardboardy faux leather thing, and it's a lot more dainty and pretty than my other one, so yeah, I love it. She also got me these amazing earrings, which not gonna lie, my ears are not gonna thank you for, but they'll look good, that's all that matters. So dazzling, oh my god. She also got me a peach like pop socket thing, which I'm very excited to put on my phone, and I probably will do it after this video. It's so cute. Um, peach scrunchie because I'm scrunchy mad. I literally have so many scrunchies, it's unreal. They're just my favorite thing to put my hair up in. She got me this cute polka dot headband. I'm just so into my hair accessories at the moment, so these have just been perfect. She got me these peach earrings, which I've been looking at on ASOS, and I really wanted to get these. They are so cute. I put them on straight away and wore them when we went out um, for a little birthday dinner, and they were so lovely. Possibly my favorite. And then, I remember seeing this when we went to LA because we went into an Urban Outfitters and they had like, they've got all of these fruit plates at the moment so they have other ones as well. And I remember seeing this and being like, I can't take this back from LA. <laughs> How cute. I'm not really sure what I want to use it for. Maybe I will just use it as a plate, but it seems too delicate and pretty to be used as a plate. We'll have to see. She then got me a couple of Skinny Dip bath products, which I just love Skinny Dip bath products. The scents that they do, the packaging, it's just so adorable. Uh, she got me the Peachy Shimmer Body Mist and the Melon Bubble Trouble, as I already have the peach one of this and she knew that. I've become such a bath person this year, so things like this get used up pretty quickly nowadays. She also got me three pairs of Friends socks which is just amazing. I love socks like this just to lounge around in the house in. So she got me ones that say, Pivot, how are you doing? And Joey doesn't share food, and I'm obsessed with these. Love me some cozy socks. She also got me this peach, like, pencil pot slash maybe makeup brush holder, which I think is just adorable. Just getting out of hand, really, isn't it? But I, I just, I love it all. Lastly, we have some foody, drinky bits. So we have the peach and hibiscus gin. Yum. And a blood orange gin. I love these little minis. I think it's so cute and like especially if you want to try out different gins. So cool. And then she also got me rose gold shimmer from Prosecco. Oh, I love things like this. I always feel like I get things like this as like gifts for other people. I'm like, I want some too. So I like that. And then also uh, Ruby Cocoa Beans Pink Kit Kat. I have no idea what this tastes like. I've always seen this and thought like I really wanted to get it because it's pink, obviously, but never actually tried it. So I'm hoping it's some sort of like berry taste. And then last but not least, in my birthday card that she got me, which is one over there, which has Ariana Grande on, which was such a cool card. Have a grande birthday, which I did. And she basically had a little note inside the card that said, on the 17th of October, we're going to see Disney Ice, the 100 Years of Magic celebration, which I'm so excited for. She couldn't print the tickets out, so she just wrote me a cute little note. And I'm so excited for this because I went to see Disney on Ice about five, six years ago, maybe, and I loved it so much. And I've been thinking the past couple of years, like, oh, it'd be so cool to go back 
and the fact that I'm going with her just makes it even better. So thank you Emma for all those presents, I loved every single one of them. Right, I then got given some presents from my dad, um, my stepmom and my little brother. So the first thing I opened from them was actually, I think it, this was mainly from my little brother, um, was this, it's called Sushi Candy, The Sweet Taste of Japan. And it's this huge bag full of different candies, chocolate, cake, stuff, all from Japan. And it's really funny because like we were, I tipped it all out, we were all looking at everything. Um, I think there is a little label that comes with it that tells you what everything is. Because just looking at the packaging does not tell you what it is. So yeah, I think it would be cool to do like a tasting a Japanese candy video. And I'm inclined to get my family involved as well. So if you'd like to see that, let me know. <laughs> yeah, I'm very excited to try all of these. And lastly, basically, anyone who's asked me what I wanted for my 21st, I pretty much said I wanted something that I could keep forever. Um, and I've also been leaning a bit towards jewellery because... I'm really into my jewellery this year and jewellery is such a nice thing I think to get for your 21st because you can literally keep that forever. So they basically got me this matching earring and bracelet set. It's going to be quite hard to show from here but I'll do a close up. And they're basically round with rose gold and they've got actual little rubies in the middle which I didn't actually realise at first because it was pink and I was like rubies are usually red but they said yeah they are rubies but they just managed to get more pinky ones which suits me perfectly. Yeah the earrings are just like small dainty little circles and the necklace is again yeah it's matching so it's on this rose gold chain and it's got a little round rose gold circle i'm definitely one for dainty jewelry not heavy jewelry and i'm obsessed with anything pink rose gold i'm in love with both of these pieces and i will definitely be keeping these forever so thank you so much to my family for these i also forgot to mention that the day before my birthday um, I also went to Stratford for the day basically with my, my stepmom, my stepmom's sister, my auntie Debbie and my younger cousin Isabel. We basically went to some tea rooms for some afternoon tea which was lovely. Yeah we did a little bit of shopping and my aunt basically got me these two tops for my birthday. I basically got these two high neck vest tops in these like two pastel colours. Um, I got this sort of pastel mint green and the one that I'm currently wearing. This like pinky lavender colour. I love these. As soon as I saw these, like they had loads of pastel colours and I thought, oh, that would be so nice for the summer. And then on my actual birthday, we went for a meal at TGI's with all of my family, apart from like one or two that couldn't make it. But um, my uncle and his girlfriend gave me some money, which I'm going to save for my holiday next week when I'm going to Brighton with my boyfriend for a couple of days. And my granddad also helped me to pay my house deposit for my uni house in my third year. So that was a massive present, which I'm very grateful for. And then my aunt got me this beautiful bottle of wine. I don't actually know if I like this wine yet, but I mean, the bottle's pretty, so that's all that matters. And I will have to try it at some point because, I mean, it's pink and rose gold, so you'd think I'd like it. She wanted to get me something that I would really like, so she asked me what I wanted. So I gave her like a little list of some jewellery that I wanted. I gave her like a couple of things because I still wanted it to be a surprise of what she picked. So I had no idea what she was going to pick. And then I saw this box which basically says Daisy London on it and I got very excited. Um, I put a couple of things from this brand on my list because I've been obsessed with the Estée La Londe tea bar range. I opened the first bag and I saw these tea bar stud earrings which was one of the things I really wanted and they are so beautiful. I'll show a close up if I can but I just think they're so pretty. And I noticed these earrings I will wear all the time. Like earrings like this, I'll just be able to wear daily. And then I saw another bag and I was like, oh, I thought she'd only pick one thing from the list. I was like, wow, me aren't spoiling me today. <laughs> so I looked into the other bag and she got me the bracelet as well. And I wanted to cry. I don't know if there's any point in me trying to show um, here. So I'll, again, I might try and do a close up. Basically just gold with a sort of little gold bar at the end. I just know I'll be wearing these a lot. <laughs> so thank you so much to my aunt for those. Oh, I'm so excited to wear these. I'm so excited to wear all the jewellery that I've been given. <gasps> I love it all so much. And then my last present, basically, I had to wait all of my birthday to get my present from my boyfriend because we were basically with my family, of course, most of the day. And then when we got back, basically I got knowledge that it was a joint present. That it was from him, his parents, his aunt, uncle and cousin and his granddad. So I started to get a little bit freaked out. I don't they were all looking at me as if like, okay, I can't explain it. 
Basically, I was a bit terrified. I started to like rip a little bit off it and I saw a bit of orange and I was like, nah. And then I ripped a bit more and I saw blue. I literally had to push it away and I was like, no, no, no. And I think I had basically a mental breakdown and <laughs> I was shaking. I was like almost crying. I mean, they just laughed at me. They thought it was hilarious. I eventually, about what, 20, 30 minutes later, opened the actual present. Oh my God. <laughs> basically, Jack kept promising to me that the present wasn't certain thing they kept saying like oh don't get too excited and all that and yeah I was a bit overwhelmed to be sure to be sure I'm just gonna hold it up because then it's like yeah ain't gonna get a mouse I'm going to sort of unbox it, it basically came like this and then in here When I first opened it, I physically couldn't touch it. I was like, and I've already started putting my cards in and stuff. And you might not be able to see it, so I'll do a close bit if not. But it's got my initials monogrammed inside CK, Charlotte Kelly. It's all baby pink in the inside. So cute. I think this is the Emily wallet. If anyone asking, and I've basically wanted this wallet for the last, I don't know how long, four or five years. It's been basically the top of my list, what I've wanted. But obviously it's the kind of thing you don't just go to a shop and buy for yourself, so I'm beyond happy with this. I'm so in love with it, I'm gonna keep it forever. So thank you so much to everyone who got this for me. I actually can't explain my love for this. It was a perfect end to the present giving day of presents. So that's the end of this video. Hopefully it's not too long. Um, I tried to babble as less as less. I tried to babble as less as possible basically. But yeah, that's the end of this video. I'm so happy and grateful for everything that I got for my birthday. Um, I think I was pretty spoiled. But yeah, I love everything I got. So thank you to everyone who got me these. But yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see any more videos like this. And yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye!